let's take a check on the teams for you and Charlton are struggling with injuries the squad is stretched but the man who has stepped up and grabbed his chance is Macaulay Bond he was playing non-league football last season he scored in his last four games in this campaign Baron Kyle who won promotion out of this league with Bryson makes just his second start for Charlton and he will play just behind Bond 19 year old Connor Gallagher has been a revelation since arriving from Chelsea on loan it's his first loan he scored five goals and will look to run the show Charlton were hoping that Lyle Taylor would make this game but he's had a slight reaction in training after returning from a knee injury well, these Preston North End players are relieved that their manager has decided to stay on and ignore interest from Stoke City, who wanted him. Jaden Stockley's appearance on the bench helped change the game against Blackburn Rovers last week. He starts here. Daniel Johnson has become Preston's leading man. He's been mainly playing further forward this season, and his goals have been crucial. It's game number 200 for him in a Preston shirt. Ben Davis is back fit, and alongside him, a man who wrote his charted legend in May, Patrick Bauer, whose playoff winner won promotion for Charles. And he returns to the valley for the very first time. Taking his time, Keith. I think it's fair to say. Risky, wasn't it? Couldn't quite find him with Cole Bond. Struggled to impact it so far. Gallagher, you might fancy this, Colin Gallagher. He did fancy it. And now it's Perrington. Perrington goes for it. And Rudd deals with it. First real save of the afternoon has been made by Preston's Declan Rudd. This is Barkhazen. Perrington, back to the day job, defending. There's Brown. Barkhazen. Alan Brown again. Cullen picks up. Kyle. Four titles during this time at Celtic and promotion with Brighton. McCauley Bond, Gallagher's trying to get up there with him. This is Solly. Kyle again. Now Purrington. Purrington, wonderful cross, and Gallagher's header goes wide. Well, that's brilliant from Charlton. It's in a couple of examples now of Kyle's technical ability. Switches it to Purrington and Gallagher goes in off the back of Daniel Fisher. He connects with it well. The ball is really good. Connection, it's always just going the wrong side of the post, but good from Charlton. He'll be happy last couple of minutes. This is him earlier. Conor Gallagher, strike from distance, gets deflected. Conley Bond into the path of Purrington. It's deep from Brown. It's kept alive, and once again, it was Prattley who knew exactly where to be. John L. Fisher. Fisher on the outside of Solly. And Bockhazen kept out by Dylan Phillips. But Charlton had a chance to clear. The centre backs missed it, and Dylan Phillips came to the rescue. Well, Darnell Fisher does so well, drives down the left hand side, digs a cross out, and it makes its way all the way to the back post. Back goes in, directs it towards goal. Nabi Saar has got himself into trouble and tried to atone for the error. And in so doing, brought down Daniel Johnson, and that will bring about the yellow card for Nabi Sa. And that touch there causes all kinds of problems. Daniel Johnson straight onto it. So he's not going to let him go.
Well, in Preston's last game, Paul Gallagher was being substituted at this stage. That was against Blackburn Rovers. Now he's being brought on. Another vital part of the team at Deepdale. That's why the captain's armband goes straight to Paul Gallagher. There's Pearson. There's Brown. Ben Pearson. Three in the middle here for Preston North End, and the header from Park Hazen goes over the top. It's been the story of Preston North End in the first half. Well, that's the quality I'm talking about, and I mean the cross because it's outstanding. Picks up a really good position, no pressure on Ben Pearson, and he puts it into such a dangerous area. Park Hazen goes in, and he has to hit the target. There's Brown. Darnell Fisher, Solly reacting, Paul Gallagher, Preston building momentum here, it's Rafferty, in-swinging ball, Stockley goes down, penalty! He was about to be taken off, Jaden Stockley, but he's won a penalty for Preston North End. Well, it was sustained pressure from Preston North End, kept it alive really, really well, Stockley up against Jason Pearce, and his arms are all over, he realises He's in trouble, takes him down, correct decision. Well, Daniel Johnson and Paul Gallagher have both been on penalties this season. Paul Gallagher with his trademark move, he will keep his back to the goal. Dylan Phillips has picked the ball up just to disrupt Paul Gallagher. He will keep his back to the goal, Paul Gallagher, but that's what he normally does. Strides to the edge of the penalty area, turns, runs forward, and then tries to slam it home. He's been doing it for most of his career. It's unique. But it does the job. Preston make their move at the Valley. They have the chance of going top of the championship today. A chance they are determined to take. Well, Paul Gallagher had a tough game last week, taking off early in the first half. Didn't sulk, reacted well, he's come on today. And from the spot, more often than not, he is lethal. Kaya evades the clutches of Paul Gallagher and finds Conor Gallagher. McCauley Bond at the near post. Ben Pearson doing what Ben Pearson does. That's a poor challenge by Kaya. And the path coming out. And it was a desperate tackle by Kyle because he was never ever going to get there. Dives in, lunges in. I'll tell you what, if he connects properly, the Rafferty here, it's a red card. Lunges, he's out of control. He makes connection. That's his last action in the game. Fortunate. Ben Pearson. It's right in front. His assistant. Let's see here. And Purrington. And it's the decision, right? It gives Preston yet another opportunity. A set piece. Gallagher front and centre in terms of taking it. In front of the travelling Preston North End fans looking for the goal to clinch this game. Patrick Bauer forward from the back, arrowed in for Stockley! And Phillips got a touch on it. I love that the referee had given the corner, now it's a goal kick. No, I'm with you, it's only got a touch on it. Outstanding ball from Paul Gallagher. Stockley attacks it really well. Bauer gets to that. Put on Lisa for Gallagher, but the break could be on here for Preston. The pacey Barkhazen. 
Rocky's trying to get to it. It's Barkhazen, and Dylan Phillips comes out with a big stop for Charlton. It keeps them alive in this game. Brown's Evan is seen off by Gallagher, but here's Brown again. Now Paul Gallagher, who fires wide. Glorious opportunity. Barkhazen makes it all himself. Lockyer, desperate challenge. Credit to Barkhausen, stays on his feet. Brilliant save from Phillips. Fired forward by Phillips. Paulie Ball looking to put the squeeze on Fisher. Fisher dealt with it. Charlton having a corner. Fisher screaming at Declan Ruff. Yeah, and I'm on his side. He could have come and claim that, relieved the pressure. And Darnell Fisher. forward but couldn't finish things up Declan Rudd is absolutely flapping here and it's Jaden Stockley comes up against gets in the way drops to Purrington his weaker right foot that's too much McCauley Bond Pearson trying to step across the path of Chooks and EK the referee checks his watch again Alan Brown. Preston North End power their way to the top of the championship. This is why Alex Neal wanted to stay at Deepdale. He could be building something special. Another statement here, this time on South London soil. And Paul Gallagher, the old head, stepping up from the bench, stepping up to the spot and powering a penalty home. And Preston North End go top. Sky Sports Football.